Hey guys, it's Erica. We're gonna be checking out 80s The World Episode Fiend. Uh, so is this the last in the world series? Does that make sense? Like, as a statement, that, like, doesn't make sense. But if you're... Is it a ten or 18E? Because I, I hear both, and I don't know what it is. Will, official trailer. Really excited to be checking this out. Um, longer form trailer, you know I'm gonna check it out. Excited for the comeback. Excited for anything 18s does. So, yes, yeah, so you know what it let go. We have a square frame, it looks like. Oh, they said CGI. Black and white. Oh, hello. Are we planning a heist or something? What's happening? That man in his luscious hair. It's creepy. They try to throw like a Phil Graham effect on it. Or like a scratchy. I like film grainy. Oh, what's happening? What do you see? What's suspicious? Oh, that's suspicious. The lighting is fantastic, especially for being in black and white. You have to light it differently than if you have it in Technicolor. Oh! Wait! Wait a damn minute! Is this just for the trailer, or is this- Oh, they look very villainous. What in the metal am I hearing? Number 14. I'll go with you. What does that mean? What does that mean? That was... What? All right, okay. So, I don't know if that instrumental is gonna be like a B-side or the actual title track. It's. We never know. We never know. Um, but it sounded crazy and it was just kind of like a cool, really cinematic metal kind of sound, which was really dope. I mean, if they include rock in it again, we'll not be surprised at all. Cause I mean, Gorilla is that girl. Oh my God. Um, it would be really dope if they went for a metal song. I would really love that. But that's kind of very personal bias to me because I'm like back into like my metal era. And so I'm back into it. Uh, not that it was ever like gone away, but I guess like discovering the new and like what's like happening right now within the metal scene. Um, so um, it would just be, it would just give me so much personal satisfaction. Plus also the sort of uh, rock songs we're getting these days, um, it, it tends to be, I feel like they're leaning a little bit more metal um, than they were leaning like, you know, the whole pop punk, punk rock, era you know what i mean so um i really loved it um the film itself was really great and intriguing there's this sort of it seems maybe like dystopian-esque society creepy people in hoods um number 14 i don't know what, what she gonna make sense later maybe um <laughs> and um i mean if this is a trailer we'll probably get like an epilogue i'm assuming that's how ags does it um but yeah, all the visuals were really great. There seems to be like futuristic technology, but also old technology um, in there as well. I love, they shot it extremely well. It's in black and white. And when you, uh, it seems like it was intentional to be in black and white. When you shoot stuff in black and white, it's different than lighting something with color because it's much more about the shadows and um, the quality of light that is being um, progressed. Of course, I mean, this stuff, all has to do with like shadows and everything too as well when you're lighting but they're just it's kind of they're kind of two different sort of things that you have to approach you can, it's like um sometimes it's you can't just like throw something in black and white and then expect it to look as good as it would in color um so you have to think about like the grays what other kind of like what colors are gonna look like on in like black and white with different like values or 
whatever, you know what I mean, and stuff because like this might look, it's gonna be a lot more darker gray and then like the walls, if that makes sense. Like that's gonna be much more of like a lighter gray. So you guys have to think about that. But I love how it wasn't black and white. It was shot extremely well um, with how they did it in the black and white. And like, I guess the regular colors that they showed and how it got translated into black and white was fantastic. It's a very great trailer. It leaves me wanting more. I wanna find out more. I wanna know more. I wanna know more about the song. I wanna know more about the visuals. I wanna know more about everything. So um, that's what it's supposed to do. Um, they're all looking good, as of course, of course it's ATs. Um, but yeah, excited for the comeback, can't wait. Um, maybe we'll figure out more in like the epilogue trailer or um, in the music video. We'll find out when we get there. Go to Perry Thoughts and comment below to have an 80s The World Episode Fiend Will official trailer. Your thoughts, comment down below. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. Want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, or description down below or at the end screen. If you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Erica Dis Games. Links in the description down below. Currently finishing up the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 campaign and then I'm going to be playing Horizon Zero Dawn. So hope you can join me over there for that. Thank you guys so so much for watching and love you and I'll tell you guys later. Bye. Slow it down, make it bounce. Jigum with a fly. Jung down a spicy. Chung yang with your vibe. If you wanna know how I can show you right now. Only man did you bounce.